My name is Greg Brewer. I'm a professor at UC Irvine here at the Department of Biomedical Engineering. I got trained in biochemistry and molecular biology at Caltech and did my PhD in virology and more biochemistry at UC San Diego. Ten years into my career, I decided that molecular biology was a very crowded field and I wanted to be at the frontier, so I chose to study the brain. I have two projects. Um, the first one is easy to understand and that's Alzheimer's disease. But the problem is we don't know the cause. We're trying to use brain cells in culture to test some of the bioenergetic possible causes. The second project is on neural networks or how the brain cells connect and encode and decode information. So when I switched to uh, an interest in neuroscience, I wanted to study single brain cells and the methods for culturing these were rudimentary at best. In serum-containing medium, the brain cells would die within three days. I knew I didn't want to study the cell death process. I wanted to keep them alive. So I looked at all the components that were in common culture medium and started optimizing each one. After about a year, we had a very much improved defined culture medium for brain cells. So I, I had made a little bit of progress without any commercial contact and I thought it was going well working on my, my own and some of these components and I said, well, you know, this is a significant commitment of my time, my staff's time and materials and supplies. I need to shop this around to commercial companies to, to see if they could support it because I was in between grants and I couldn't just go on without support and it took it turned out uh, Gibco was interested they were developed together really and just in terms of shelf life I had advice from Gibco to have two separate components one that's frozen and more labile and more that one that's stable at four degrees the neurobasal well that's of course very satisfying that uh, so many people are able to benefit in their studies using neurobasal B27 and based on the Society for Neuroscience meetings maybe a third of uh, neuroscience is now done in, in neuron culture. Two things are surprising. Uh, one is it's still here after 23 years and it's still the, the best medium. Uh, second thing is not only could you use it for hippocampal neurons, but other brain cells, and you could use it to culture adult neurons. The surprise, I guess, was that each optimization of each component was of only a small amount of benefit. But when they got all combined together at an optimum levels, there was a much bigger benefit. And then just historically that it's lasted, the product has been the leading neuron culture medium throughout the world.